Hello, everyone. Welcome to eSpace Overseas Product Class. Today, let me introduce a brand new smart DIY lock, DL01S. This little one here. Yeah, very cute, right? Generally, it is installed inside the door, and the panel is installed outside the door. The panel would be the optional choice for customers, and we have two styles here, DL01P and DL01CP. We even have a gateway for customers to choose, so its function is very rich. Can't wait to know more about this mini lock. Don't worry, I want to talk about this first. It is only sold to the Middle East and part of the Europe region, which include the Italy, France, Germany, Spain. So this product is really a little different from the locks you have known before, just like L2 or L2S. So what are the differences? Let's look at it step by step. So the appearance of this little lock is very simple. This is the front panel, and it needs to be removed when installing. And this is the key knob, used to open and close the door manually or automatically. And this is the battery slot. The device needs four AA batteries to power supply. And here is the battery belt, which can help you remove the battery faster. And on the back of it, uh, you can see a key slot here which used to fix the key handle, and there is a matching key on it, which can be used to configure the network or lock or unlock the door with one click. Here is also a circle of LED indicators around it. When a lock is operated, the LED indicator will flash. The meaning of different LED indicators are marked here. So generally, if the lock is in the slim mode, the LED indicator will be off. And this is the appearance of our two panels, DL01P and DL01CP. The P refers to the password verification and the CP refers to the card and the password verification. So if you look at the appearance of the password uh, keypad, you can say, uh, yeah, there is a circle of digital buttons, right, and a confirmation button below, and a doorbell button in the middle. And for the uh, password panel, yeah, there's only one difference here. In the middle partition, you cannot only see a doorbell button, but also you see a card swiping yeah, icon, right? So that means it can not only support the password verification, but also the card verification, okay? And on the back of it, you can see here is a battery slot. And this is the anti print K. Yeah, if you remove this device by force, it will send out a strong alarm. OK. And the, this is the size of the small lock and the mini panel, um, which, is, which are relatively small. And this is the box contents, a single lock and two mounting plates. One is the thinner with foam sticker on it, and the other is a little thicker with screw holes on it. So when installing, mounting panel selection should be determined by the length of the lock cylinder protruding. So if there is not much protruding, use the mount, um, mounting plate with foam sticker here. And if it protrudes a lot, then you can use the thick one, then fix it with screws. Then there are four AA batteries and an Allen K screwdriver and three screws and a door sensor and some instructions materials here. Okay, so when installing, you have to remember install the sensor as well. And this is the packing list of the panel. One panel here and two mounting plates. One is flat, the other one is inclined. So for the password card panel, there are two more cards within the package. And the panel needs two AA batteries for power supply, then the screw bags and the double-sided type. You can use the double-sided type or screws to fix the mounting plate. Then snap the panel onto it to finish the installation. And the rest are some instruction materials as well. So first of all, 
I may have to lead you to understand the difference between this DL01S and L2 and L2 as we showed before. So in terms of the installation, our previous L2 and L2S are installed on both sides of the door. Yes, one inner panel and one outer panel, right? But the DL01S is only installed in near side of the, of the door. If the user needs to install one on the outer side as well, they can purchase our panel accessory additionally. But this thing is not necessary. The user can purchase it as needed. So if strictly speaking from the lock itself, it can only need to be installed on the inside of the door, okay? And in addition, both L2 and L2S have their own lock cylinder. But DL01S doesn't have a lock cylinder. It is compatible with existing lock cylinder or user store. Okay, then in terms of the installation difficulty, the installation of the L2 and L2S requires certain installation skills, which will involve professional operations such as punching holes, but this mini lock doesn't need it. Ordinary home users can easily complete the installation and the configuration within 10 minutes by themselves. And from the perspective of use, the L2 is a standard low lock and L2S needs to be connected to an A3 gateway. As for the L01S, it uses Bluetooth to unlock itself and also support A3 gateway and panel adaptation. And there are four basic ways of unlocking uh, methods for L2 and L2S, password, uh, card, fingerprint, and physical key. But actually for the L2S, it also supports remote un un unlocking, right? As for the DL01S, mm -hmm, uh, a, single lock, a single lock itself supports Bluetooth unlocking. Uh, but if you install the panel as well, it will support, support the password and card unlocking as well. Then regarding the optional accessories, you can say for the L2 and L2S, it, they don't need any additional accessories and don't have that. But for the DL01S, there are so many for this model, yeah, including A3 and the two kinds of panels, yes. And you may be wondering how the DL01S unlock the door through Bluetooth, right? So let's take a look at this connection diagram. Here it is. You can see that the mobile phone app is connected to the lock via Bluetooth that the user can easily unlock it with one button through the EaseVis app. As you can see here, swipe right to unlock. Then the effective distance of Bluetooth unlocking is 7 meters. Once it exceeds 7 meters, the app will show the, the Bluetooth disconnected. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be remotely unlocked. So what functions will users enjoy if they only buy one single lock? Firstly, it will allow the user to unlock the door by Bluetooth through mobile phone. Then and it will support them to view the lock status uh, through the mobile phone app. And they can also do the user management and uh, set auto lock of this device. And it also has sleep mode, just like L2S. Then let's take a look at the uh, setting point, the highlights of this uh, mini lock. Yeah, so actually the DL01S has won the 2021 German Red Dot Design Award for its elegant design. Its biggest selling point is that it is very easy to install. It can be installed and configured within 10 minutes without professional installation skills, which is very easy. And secondly, uh, it is uh, app remote unlocking function. It can be easily open the door without a mechanical key. Just a mobile phone can handle all of this. And at the same time, it also supports user management. The visual management of Bluetooth case for family members and friends and check the status of the lock at any time. And you can also set the automatic unlocking and delay time and even the privacy mode. So let's take a look at these features one by one. Yeah, there are three major benefits for users to choose the L01S actually. Firstly, the user doesn't need to remove their existing lock cylinder. 
And secondly, the user doesn't need to use these professional tools to make additional holes or do any, any cutting on the door. And finally, the installation is very convenient and it can be done within 10 minutes on the premise that there is no problem with the log cylinder capability. So it's very quick to finish the installation. And however, it should be noted here that the DL01S, it, it is not suitable for all log cylinder in the market. So before purchasing, before making any purchase, you have to yeah confirm the compatibility of the log cylinder. So about the compatible log cylinder, uh, here you can say only these two log cylinders are compatible with RDL01S. One is Euro Profile Lock Cylinder, and the other is our upcoming with its own lock cylinder. And this other three lock cylinder is not compatible right now. So here is also a link uh, that, that will guide you to check if this lock fits your existing lock cylinder well. And after the configuration is successful, the user can use the mobile phone app to yeah, unlock the door with Bluetooth and the effective distance uh, will be 7 meters. And so in our daily life, we may be away from home because of work or travel. So what if our relatives won't want to come to visit temporarily and cannot open the door? And what if friends visit temporarily? And what, do we, what if the nanny has to go in and out many times a day? So don't worry about this. This product fully considers various scenarios that may appear in life. The user can use the mobile app to share the Bluetooth key with others and can also set effective time, which is very convenient and safe. And this is the safe mode for settings of this device. After this mode is turned on, you can set the privacy mode time period, just like between the uh, 24 p.m. to 6 a.m. next day. Then in this time period, the electronic key unlocking way will be disabled and the doorbell sound will also be silent. This feature can be enabled generally when you don't want to be disturbed by others or when you go bed at night, which is more secure. And this is auto locking function in case you forgot to lock the door when you go out due to the time constraints. So with this function, you will never have to worry about the door is still open after you leave. So it supports setting auto locking in, uh, in the EasyViz app and there are, there are also uh, custom settings for the delay time, such as auto lock the door after closing it 10 seconds. Okay. And it should be noted here that when installing, you have to remember to fix the position of the door sensor. Yes, here. And mini lock is internally powered by four AA uh, batteries, right? So the battery life is about 10 months under the premise that is triggered uh, 10 times a day. Okay. So if it is equipped with a panel, what additional functions can be added to a panel? First of all, you can upgrade the unlocking way of the door, right? Use the password or card to open the door as well. And in addition, there is a doorbell button on the panel, which can be used as an electronic doorbell, as well as anti-print alarm. And you can look at its installation location. The panel is installed outside the door, and the lock is installed inside the door, completely upgrading the traditional lock body in user's home to a smart lock. Let's take a look at the detailed function introduction of our panel, and in fact, it's unrealistic for children to carry mobile phones with them and open the door through Bluetooth, right? Then the mobile phones used by adults may also run out. So how to open the door in this case? Yeah, of course, the mechanical key can open the door. So what if the mechanical key is not with you? At this time, the existence of our panel is particularly important. It can provide you up to two additional ways to open the door. 
For password panel, you can open the door through the password. And for password card panel, you can open the door through the password or card. It's very convenient. And you can also set effective time for this electronic case. And for password and, and cards, we support users to set up to 50 groups for each one. And password is 6 to 10 digits. Scanbook code also available for this model. And in addition, it also has an electronic doorbell button. When the visitor comes, just click the doorbell button to let the owner know. At the same time, the device also supports volume adjustment. You can completely mute it if you prefer. If someone forcibly removed the panel, it will send out a strong alarm to scare of the intruders. As for the panel, uh, it also supports 10 months battery life uh, based on 10 times use per day. And so if the user added one A3 gateway with small lock, so what functions will be added? So first of, first of all, it can support user to generate temporary password like our previous L2S. The temporary password can be used to open the door. But the realization of this function needs to be combined with the panel. After all, we need a temporary password input device, right? And secondly, the user can receive real-time message push notifications, which can open the door at what time, and the real-time viewing of the log status. So no matter when and where, the user can say whether their door locks are open or closed at any time. Then let's take a look at the detailed introduction. So the first is the setting function of the temporary password. So in daily life, we will receive unexpected relatives or friends or temporary door-to-door -door service personnel. So in this case, you can inform others of the temporary password for temporary authorization to open the door. So we can modify the effective duration and the number of the times of the generated temporary password. And all the security keys are under your control. After linking with A3, all the movement of the log will be under your control. You can know whether your child is, uh, is home on time after school, whether your nanny is on time calm, whether anyone raised the doorbell, and whether the log is open or not. You can clearly see it on the app. Look at here. After connecting the gateway, the door opening log will be generated and the real-time notifications will be posted to you on the eSpace app. If you are an owner of a, a bakery, you can also know whether your employees are on duty on time or not by door opening log. And here you can also view the door lock status in the real time. And here we summary the functions of the locks and the different accessories groups so that everyone can understand more clearly. So such a wonderful product, right? So if you're interested, welcome to EasyViz offline dealer shop or online store for consultation and purchase. Okay, so thank you for watching today. Have a good day. Bye bye. When installing, you have to remind you have to remember to fix the prediction of the door 